Well, good morning. So today we're going to do a fuel filter on the 2018 Chevy Cruze diesel 1.6 liter. I've got an AC Delco fuel filter here and uh, down to about 23% life, but I just feel like it's a good time to change it now. So you can hopefully see the part number there. You're going to need a 36 millimeter socket to fit on here. I've been told that uh, apparently you need to have an impact gun to do this. And when I was feeling this by hand, you can see the whole thing just kind of moves on the bracket. And apparently other guys have snapped the fuel lines off and they feel like they're just plastic fuel lines. So I really don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go with their advice and I'm going to try the impact very carefully. And hopefully this works. I've never had this off before. It's coming loose, but a lot of sand is coming out too. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, well that was a big mess. But it's off now. Gross. Would not recommend that. Probably should have drained it first, but I just don't like to do that. And I guess there's my punishment for not doing it that way. All right, so we got it back in the shop to have a better look at it. Here's the old filter. Pretty hard to see inside the element there, the screen. Looks fairly good from what I can tell. This bucket's probably just mostly filled up with sand from under the car from when I was hammering on it with the impact. The filter housing though, it's gonna be hard to see in here. It's a real mess in here and it's dark. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that at all, but what I'm seeing is just really fine sand in, inside there or fine uh, particles, I don't know if it's metal or what it is, but something that got into the diesel there. So I'm pretty happy that that didn't make it any farther than the filter. And next up, we'll just have to change out these O-rings here. So this is probably what I should have done first, taking an 18 millimeter, it's just hand tight and unscrew this here and then the water and the fuel would have drained out. All right, so we've got this little O-ring here. Just gonna pull this one off carefully. Back on there. Now, now the filter is ready to go back up. So once this is back on here, we'll have to prime the fuel filter. And GM's got a sequence on that. Oh, this is really not going on nicely. the one thing about diesels that I really hate. See if I can just carefully buzz this back up. I really don't want to do this. doing this. 
از راه Okay, I'm gonna try that and we'll just see what happens. I did lube it with diesel, but uh, I really don't like the idea of doing this. It's all plastic. Okay, so I've got my owner's manual here to learn about the fuel priming sequence. So what they want us to do is uh, to hold the stop start button for five seconds with the foot off the brake, and then it should go into service mode. And then you're supposed to wait 30 seconds to allow the fuel to fully cycle and then you're supposed to press the stop start button again for it to turn off. It says to do this three times or more while the engine's off. So I can hear the fuel pump priming. So I'm just going to let that go until I stop hearing it. There you go to turn it off and then I'll do it again here. All right, so we're back under here after doing the priming three times like the owner's manual recommends and uh, no leaks. So I'm just going to start it up here and hopefully you guys don't see anything. I'm not hearing anything, I'm not seeing anything, so that's good. And I don't know if you can hear, but that fuel noise that was circulating around in the filter now, probably just filling up even more, has stopped now. Car's still running the same. I'm not seeing any leaks. I think we're done here now. So I guess just for good measure, I primed it a few more times just to make sure uh, I, I ran it. I matted the, the throttle a couple of times just to make sure I'm not seeing any evidence of leaks. Uh, this diesel fuel up here is just old from when we uh, dropped the bucket in that very stupid manner before. And next time I'd just do this instead of just trying to dump the whole thing and make it a lot easier for me. Overall, a uh, very simple job to do. Anybody can do it. 36 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket. As I learned this time, I'd probably just do it this way first. Much easier that way. Drain out the water, drain out the fuel, and then take it off that way instead. Um, really easy job, but come on, GM. Like, this is all plastic. It moves so much. I was so afraid of breaking a fuel line or breaking the housing or breaking the filter housing. Like, I don't really like that. I think that's just poor quality and I'm kind of afraid to change it next time. So luckily it seems to last a long time. So I'll, I'll just do it whenever it tells me to next and there you go. But overall, I'm not too impressed with the design. Anyways, pretty simple job. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like my videos, like my channel. Um, I have tons of stuff on chickens and old GMC truck. That's about it. Thanks. And before I forget, we have to reset the fuel filter light.